Hello and welcome to autoportal.com, the car buying website that helps you buy better. Well, if you are in the market for a compact hatchback which offers a posh image, a premium cabin and also puts a smile on your face each time you take it out for a spin, then the alphabets G and T are what you want in front of your Polo. VW have recently updated the entire Polo range and now the car gets new bumpers both in the front and at the back along with subtle changes to the headlights. You get a lot of chrome now up front. While the Polo has always been a very premium looking car, it looks more upmarket and posh than ever before. Well, the Polo has always had one of the biggest boots in this category and it's no different on the GT version of the car. As you can see, it's a really well-shaped boot. It's very square in nature. There's a bit of a loading lip, but it should not be too much of a problem. Because it is so well-shaped, you can generally put in that heavy luggage into it. Well, and if you want to improve the boot capacity even further, you can drop the backrest down. Well, you can remove the bench of the rear seats and that means that the backrest falls completely flat giving you an almost flat loading. There's a small lip but it should not be too much of a problem because you get such a huge loading capacity. Well, just like the exterior, the interiors of the Polo GT have been given a subtle update. Well, now the new Polo GT comes in an all-black cabin and it feels a lot more sporty than the beige which came in the earlier car. Now the Polo GT doesn't feel like a middle-aged man's car like the earlier version which came with that beige interior and also it will not soil rather easily like the older car did. Well, like the earlier Polo, this cabin really is very well put together and it really has the best quality of materials. In fact, I will stretch my neck out and say that the Polo has the best interior in terms of quality of materials used on any small car in the Indian market. Well, all the switches really have a nice and tactile feel on them and not only is the upper part of the dashboard solidly put together and has fantastic materials. Even the lower end of the dashboard really does have faultless materials used. Well, the GT really is the top end version of this kind. It comes completely loaded. You of course get Bluetooth connectivity for your telephone. You get uh, an auxiliary port, a USB port as well as an SD card slot for your music. And uh, the steering wheel adjusts for reach as well as for rake. And that along with the height adjustable seat means that you can easily find a very comfortable position which is suitable for you. Well, in terms of practicality, it's a great place to be because of course you get this huge glove box up front where you can really put in a lot of uh, things and your knickknacks in. You get two cup holders right over here. You get one tray over here where you can put your cell phone at just below the gear lever. There's also a small uh, cup holder at the back for the passenger at the back and uh, the door bins are generally big enough to house those one litre bottles in. So in terms of practicality, a great place to be in the front seats of the Polo GT TSI. Well, so here I am in the back seat of the Polo GT TSI. And just like the regular version of the car, it has the same amount of headroom, which is adequate. And same amount of knee room, which is again just about adequate. And uh, you do get place to keep your feet at below the front seats. The seats themselves are pretty comfortable and they offer good cushioning and the backrest angle is really very good. But on the downside, it's not a very practical place to be in because the door bins are not deep enough to keep uh, those big bottles at. And there's this huge tunnel running through the center of the car, which means whoever's sitting here will really struggle for leg room and uh, finding a place to keep his feet at. The only other negative is that you don't really get too many places to keep your knickknacks in. You uh, don't have pockets at the back over here where you can put those files or something handy. So a bit of an issue in terms of practicality, but decent in terms of comfort. Well, so here I am driving the Polo GT TSI. Now this car of course comes with a 1.2 litre turbocharged petrol motor and it develops about 103 bhp of power. Now along with that superb engine is uh, this brilliant gearbox and uh, this of course is a 7 speed dual clutch automatic gearbox and uh, you can use it manually also by putting it into this mode. Well, if I use the word superb and brilliant too much in this video review, I apologize for that. But this car, this engine and this gearbox truly is brilliant. Well, this is one of the most brilliant engines in terms of performance as well as technology. Now, this is a technology which is mostly found on cars almost twice the price. So, uh, VW have done a fantastic job by offering it at a relatively affordable price. Well, if you want a brisk acceleration, all you need to do is just slot this gearbox into the S mode and it really does hold on to those revs longer. It really does uh, drive a gear or two down and power delivery is absolutely brilliant. Well, where the engine really excels is delivering power in a very, very linear manner and it really does rev all the way to its red line, which is 
about six and a half thousand rpm well the polo really does feel very very mature and very composed when you take it out on the highway when you push this car doing three digit speeds this car really does feel very well planted and even though the steering is uh, light and very very easy to operate when you are in the city it does weigh up nicely when speed increase and you go on the highway and that means that you don't feel nervous or underconfident when pushing this car hard on that highway surface and it really does soak in the bumps very very well and small potholes and small speed breakers really do not manage to trouble this car's ride and suspension at all in fact this is easily one of the most comfortable cars in the small car segment well normally in my video reviews i don't talk about the price because they keep changing from time to time and also vary from city to city but i will make an exception for the polo gt tsi at a price of 8.18 lakh rupees x showroom it is an expensive car in fact at this price point you can get a much bigger car you can get a honda city and maybe even a hyundai verna at this price point but none will offer you as many driving thrills as this Polo GT TSI. In fact, it really is the best driver's car at this price point in India. And before you start an argument with me on that, I'll end this video review right here.